Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 12th through the 18th of June, 2022. Hope you guys are doing really well. I am going to take a quick second, like usual, to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, and if you find that that is your situation, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements and see if those readings may resonate just a little better. Also, keep in mind that in a general reading, the energies can and do sometimes reverse or flip-flop. It's not at all unusual. And if you are interested in a private reading, that information can be found in the small box beneath this reading. So let's get started, Capricorn. Spirit, can I have the energy of Capricorn? Capricorn. Capricorn, you are starting out with the Ace of Wands. You have the Four of Wands. Wow. And the King of Cups. Okay, Capricorn, what have you got going on this week? My goodness. Um, so I'm seeing love. I'm seeing passion. I'm seeing a new beginning. I'm seeing, you know, a reason for celebration. Um, I'm seeing, you know, possible commitment here. So it looks like you've got something big going on here. Um, it looks good. It looks good. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is really good energy. Some of you guys are like really happy. You're embarking on something, something brand new here. So let's see who you're connecting with. This is uh, in Capricorn's energy. Yes, happy energy. I like it. Ooh. You got me all nervous, Capricorn. Who is Capricorn? Who's in their energy? Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. We have the sun in reverse. And coming out together, we have the high priestess along with the page of pentacles in the reverse. So the person that is in your energy. Um, I feel as if the person that's in your energy, there's something here that they want that um, they're not getting. Either that or they got what they wanted and it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. So, you know, I there's also an energy of, you know, like feeling that um, there's a, a sense of feeling um, like they're in the dark about something. Um, like they don't know about something. They're, they're in the dark. Okay. Now, there are a lot... A lot of them are unhappy about the way something has turned out. And I do feel like this person is really trying to use their intuition um, regarding some kind of a loss. For some, it's a loss of money. There's, a, there's been a loss of, a small loss of, lo of money. And they're trying to be very intuitive about it. But for others, um, I feel like, I feel like this person might be hiding, <laughs> hiding um, something, hiding a feeling of, of loss or hiding a feeling of disappointment. Um, for some, they may want to reach out, but they won't and they're, they're hiding that. Yeah, but there's a, it's a feeling of wanting um, wanting something and not quite being able to get there and not quite knowing how to get what they want and feeling disappointed. 
That's, that's what it's feeling like. Let's look at the energy of the connection because your energy is very different. Your energy is so different. It's like almost opposite of theirs. Um, show me the energy of this connection. So it makes me wonder if um, you've moved forward. All right, we have the Empress. Now, the Empress is really all about growth and prosperity and abundance. Um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a card of abundance. So I don't know why the person that is in this connection is feeling in any kind of way that it's that they're not getting what they want. Maybe they want abundance. They see that you have it. Because this is also in this particular deck, it's a it's a transformation. Things have transformed. They've gone from um, having little to abundance. So let's see what's directly affecting this connection. The Six of Swords, feeling stuck. Someone's feeling stuck. Um, not really listening to their intuition. And actually it's not even their intuition, not really listening to spirit. It's as if spirit is speaking to this person, but they can't hear them. Huh. Because you're celebrating, but they're unhappy. Let's see the outcome. I'm definitely going to need to clarify this. Show me the outcome at the end of the week. Because I have to say, Capricorn, your energy is so different from theirs. Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Tower. Okay. So some kind of karma coming along with a Tower moment. It's going to be a Tower moment primarily for this person, but it's, it's karmically involved. Um... It's a cycle. There's a, some kind of a cycle to it, but that's that karmic cycle. Um, yeah. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. This is underlying energy, Capricorn. So what this is telling me is that, you know, there is communication. Um, it, it can be a little bit immature, this communication. Um, that's affecting all of this. And I'm also seeing, now it's truthful, but it's immature. And I'm also seeing, um, that somebody's kind of doing some, some spying on, on someone else. Some looking, um, into things, trying to discover something. It doesn't feel like your energy. It, it feels more like... The, this person's energy. So let's clarify, because I have to be honest with you, I'm mystified right now. I hope I hope this is making more sense to you. Um, why is the Ace of Wands here? Now, I do have to tell you, for some of you guys, this could be a one-night stand, um, because, you know, it's a very phallic symbol. So for some of you guys, you, you may have just met somebody and you know, it got physical very quickly. Why is the Ace of Wands here? The world in reverse and the Six of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, so if it was a one night stand, I feel like um, there's it didn't turn out as successful as you may have wanted. Um, but I don't. I feel like you're still kind of hanging on to this. Um, whatever this is is cyclical. I'm seeing it in two places, 
And I, I also feel like um, it's not over. So while success hasn't happened yet, it doesn't mean it won't. And you're still waiting. You're waiting for the success. But it's a new beginning. Um, why is the Four of Wands? So you may be waiting to see what's going to happen. And if it's going to be successful. Why is the Four of Wands here? Four of Wands can indicate marriage. So this could be affected by a marriage. Um... Why is the Four of Wands here? All right, we have the Three of Swords reversed, and we have the Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, guys. Um, three of Swords can indicate a third party, so... I. I don't know if there's been some third party involvement. There was a there was a night of passion perhaps. And now Capricorn is waiting to see what's going to happen because there is a marriage involved with this either on your side, possibly on their side. Um I do feel like for some of you, you you made a decision to end something, and that would be why this person's not happy about it. I can see that. Um, so, for those of you that are in another connection, you may have met somebody, you may have, you know, stepped out on that person. You may still have thoughts about that person, but you feel like it's not going to be successful, and so therefore you decided to end it um, and decided to heal your present connection. Let me see why is the King of Cups here. Now it's starting to make a little bit more sense. Now, if the energies are reversed, go ahead and put yourself where you belong. Only if it's resonating, because this feels very specific. Okay, we have the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, and the Ace of Cups reversed. Wow. So, if the secret comes out, it'll end a it'll end a connection. It'll end a relationship. With someone that you love. You have the high priestess in reverse. They have it in the upright. So Capricorn. It, it almost appears as if you're in a connection. And you had a fling. You're still kind of holding on to that fling a little bit. But you know it's not going to work out. You know it's not going to be successful. It was very passionate. So you ended it. Deciding instead to stay in a connection that was pre-existing, to heal that connection and to end the third party energy. But if it's revealed to the person that you love, you know it's going to end that, that connection. The person on this side, they're not happy about your decisions and they're the one that has the secret. Right now, they're keeping it to themselves. Wow. Wasn't expecting this. Was not expecting this. Um, why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Ten of Swords reversed and the Judgment. They're getting, they're getting over it. They're getting past the fact that things have ended. It's not the way they wanted things to be. What they want is to bring it back together. They want to be with you, but they're, and they feel betrayed, by the way, but they're, they're trying to move past it. Why is the sun in reverse? Why is the sun in reverse?
Ooh. They feel abandoned. They're unhappy about being feeling abandoned. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. A decision was made about an existing partner, which left them feeling abandoned. Um, Queen of Pentacles is the um, it's the existing um, wife or husband. It's the existing partner. Um, it is also Capricorn's energy, and I feel as if um, this person feels abandoned by you, Capricorn. They, a decision that was made by you has left them feeling abandoned and unhappy. Some of them depressed. Uh, let's look at the bottom energy. They may not have um, seen it coming. So they may not have expected it. They were hidden. I, I heard hidden. They were hidden. Or felt hidden. One more card, please. All right, we have the Seven of Cups reversed. We have the Eight of Coins reversed. And we have the Three of Cups. So, they do feel as if, um, they do feel as if, They have clarity on the situation. They realize that they have a secret that they're holding. This is the secret that you know would end a relationship with someone that you you love. Um, there's a clarification that things are not working between the two of you. Although, they do want to reconcile, and that's very clear. They do want to come back together with you, but I believe that they are not saying that. They're not, they're not offering that um, because they feel like it's not going to work out. And so, they don't feel that they have, that, that it's an option, basically. Um, but they do realize that this is a secret that if they were to reveal, would end this connection that you're in. Uh, why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Page of Cups reversed in the Death card. So even though you have emotions for this person, Capricorn, you pulled everything back. You pulled back the offer. You 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 removed it. Um, so the person that you're that's in your energy, they're dealing with this ending. They feel very betrayed. They feel <laughs> they feel betrayed, and they they know that things are over. But both of you feel that this could have actually been a very big and beautiful connection. There was definitely a connection between the two of you. And they didn't get what they wanted in this connection. And they do want, they do want to reconcile. Um, why is the Six of Swords in reverse? So they're, they're acknowledging the ending of this connection. If anything, Capricorn, you have a little bit more energy of holding on to this than they do. Um, all right, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. So what's affecting the connection is the Six of Swords in the reverse. Now, 
there's a sense here of somebody who is not really listening um, to guidance, spiritual guidance. Um, but in addition to that, it's a feeling of being stuck. Um, the person that you are connected to here, is, they feel stuck in this feeling of abandonment and sadness. You're kind of stuck in this feeling of, you know, having to end this. Um, but you're moving forward with the current partner. Some of you have a child with this person and they're, they're not speaking with you. It, there's a lack of communication. So they basically have pulled back and they're dealing with this on their own. Um, there's no communication from this person because you've decided to move forward. Uh, let me see the outcome, please. All right, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. And we have the Hierophant. Yeah, so I I feel like this is not going to go well for you. Um, there's going to be some negative karma involved in this Capricorn. I mean, I hate to say it because with the Knight of Wands, um, it, it's almost showing you as a player that you came in hot and heavy and then you pulled your emotions back just as quickly. Um the karma that would be involved is going to be um, that there could be a breakup in the future. And that's always going to be kind of hanging over your head. If there is, um, if, if it's communicated what happened, then, and this secret comes out, that there is a breakup. Because the King of Cups is in the, in the upright, Queen of Cups is in the reverse. And so that tells me that there, there would be a breakup. Now, that would be the karma that would be involved in this situation. Now, for the person that you're connected to here, this has been a tower moment for this person. They really wanted a commitment with you. And I do feel like they now see you as a player. Um... There is no communication from what I can see, and although you might get some communication, if <laughs> if there is going to be communication, it's going to bring about the karma, though. So, it won't be you, most likely, that they are going to communicate to. It will be the other person in your life, and it will bring a tower moment to them. So, you know, secrets that are being held like this, you've put yourself in jeopardy here. Um, so I do feel that if this person chooses to, they're well aware that they can bring in this, this tower moment. And some of them are going to do it. It's going to bring about karma for you. And it's going to be negative karma. Um... But others, I just feel as if they're seeing you now as a player, and yet they still have feelings for you. I can see that they still feel very drawn to you. But I don't see them actually making moves. It's been a tower moment for them, and they, they're, some of them are actually going to turn towards... Um, religion or a spiritual advisor in order to handle this. Um, for some, there may be a spotty communication in and out um, for some time, which will leave you feeling stuck and it will cause them to have these little mini tower moments. Yeah, so I see three different timelines there. Um, I hope 
for <laughs> those of you that have um, misstepped here, that you're not on that first timeline because I'm going to tell you that karma is going to be harsh. All right, bottom of the deck is the lovers in reverse. This tells me that there, there is a breakup. And it tells me that you're not seeing eye to eye with this person. And that, again, um, there was spiritual guidance that someone did not listen to. And in addition to that, I just see that, you know, the energies are very different. I saw it in the beginning and I see it now. Um, it looks to me like Capricorn, you jumped into something very quickly and impulsively and you hurt someone. And now there's going to be <laughs> fallout. So I'm going to pull a tea leaf card and we will see what else comes out. So for you... Capricorn, we have flowers. Happiness. This person um, did provide happiness to you. I, I mean, I saw it in the very beginning. There was happiness. So, but you cannot impulsively do things. For the person you're involved with, it says scales. Keep your life in balance. And also keep in mind, scales do represent Libra. It also represents um, justice. And for the connection itself, ooh, we have June. That's interesting. So we're in June and I would expect something to occur um, with regard to this balancing out within June. Mm, interesting. All right. I do hope that this has been helpful for you, Capricorn. It's a heavy reading. I haven't done a reading this heavy in quite some time. So, if you would, like and share the video. Um, if this has resonated with you at all, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to drop a comment, feel free to do so. Um, I read all of your comments. Until I see you in next week's reading, namaste.